Hey guys, so today I'm here with an overview of the latest Code Themed update. Uh, so as most of you guys probably know, I'm a big fan of Code Themed. It's probably the best website, well it's probably the only website that allows you to go ahead and create full custom winterboard themes straight from the website. So um, I've made quite a few themes before, you know, uh, you know, you have to deal with, you know, the images, figuring out what goes where, all the, you know, the complicated stuff. But Code Theme really does make it easy for you. And they've actually just recently updated, just, just a few, just like about, I believe about an hour or so ago, with a really cool new update. Um, so now when you create a theme in Code Theme, you can actually go ahead and opt for it to be automatically sent to Cydia. Um, so this is really cool if you wanted to, you know, get your information out, you know, get your themes out. You can go ahead and create something in Code Themed, send it. Uh, now do keep in mind that it's not going to automatically do everything. They will, it will need to be reviewed. You know, if you make a terrible theme with like one icon, they're not going to accept it, obviously. Um, but if, you know, you put some effort into it and you make your own stuff, you can definitely get your theme into uh, Cydia. So look why don't you just give you guys a little uh, demo of it. I'll go ahead and open it up here. Um, the first time you do this, it will ask, uh, are you interested in... Uh, one click sharing which you you can just say yes or no um, obviously I've done this before so I've already done that um, so I'm going to give you guys a quick little overview of how this works I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what code theme is all about but in case you haven't I'll give you a quick overview um, so the first thing is go ahead and just go to icons uh, now this is one thing you do need to keep in mind now if you're interested in making your own theme and putting it on city you will need to upload your own graphics so while I uh, see so just go into messages as you can see here there are a lot of presets and while you can use these you cannot use these to be uploaded to Cydia so like let's say I want to use this one so I'm going to go ahead and click on that um, now I can use that and then I can download this theme and use it myself however if I want to go ahead and upload to Cydia you will need to go ahead by clicking here and upload your own images so um, do keep that in mind if you know you try to make a lot of the presets you can't do that however not a big deal because if you're making your own theme odds are you're going to go ahead and make all your new icons uh, same goes for back I'll we'll go ahead and just show you. There are quite a few already preset. I'm going to go ahead and just upload one of my own here. Okay, so now I'll go ahead, just using from one of my old themes, I'll go ahead and set it up. So I can just click this. I'll set it as both. Um, and now, now I've got this, I can actually go ahead and choose what pages to apply to, which is definitely a really cool thing. Um, you know, if you want different pages to have different uh, backgrounds, you can. I'm going to go ahead and just apply to all pages. And there we go, as you can see here, just as simple as that, I can go ahead and now I now have my new background. And let's go ahead and move on to docs. It's the same thing, guys. If you've ever used Code Theme before, not a whole lot has changed, although there is now a randomized function. But uh, it pretty much all works the same way. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you uh, just a couple of... Uh, I'm just gonna make a really awful theme real quick just to show you guys how it works. I'm gonna go into label settings. We can, you know, change the color. We can just get rid of the labels altogether if we like, which actually I kinda like that. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the lock screen now. Uh, so, like I said, guys, same stuff goes. You can go ahead and upload your own sliders. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so now that I've added this, I can go ahead and click on that. And as you can see here, uh, we got a little blue Apple logo. And of course, this is not the greatest theme in the world, but it's just really something simple to show you. Um, so I'll go ahead and continue on. We can go ahead and change the slider background. So actually, that looks kind of cool. Or we can just make it totally transparent. Um, and then again, we can go ahead and go to the unlock text. And um, we can make it, you know, rainbow colored. Uh, we can do all kinds of cool stuff like that. Um, and lastly, we'll go ahead and just jump over to the status bar. Um, as you can see here, up here, we can do all kinds of things. We can make it, you know, really bright. We can make it shadowed. Of course, we can upload our own. Um, so that's about it. I will go ahead and just show you. You can do the icons as far as, you know, the battery. So if we want, like, uh, that color battery and we want to, you know, do all kinds of different things, we can do that. And lastly, we can go ahead and do a carrier logo. So this is something pretty cool. So, like, let's say I want to put Duncan33303. I can do that. Set as carrier. And there, as you can see, let's go ahead and just jump back over to the home screen. Um, there we go. So you can see that's a little bit too much text, but still not a big deal. And that's it. So in just like a couple of minutes, we've already made ourselves a winterboard theme. Obviously, you guys are probably going to do a lot better by actually, you know, creating the theme from scratch and, you know, spend, spending a little time on it. Um, but as soon as you do that, you're good. And now at this point, you can go ahead and save the changes. You can download the theme, or you can randomize, which I was taught, hinted at a little bit before. You can go ahead and, you know, uh, just make a totally crazy random theme, maybe, you know, if you want to go that way. Um, but anyway, guys, as soon as you hit save changes, it will go ahead and submit it to Cydia, or rather, submit it to Code Themed. They'll take a look at it. Again, it should take one, two days, something like that, for them to review it. And then as long as you, you know, you followed all the rules and everything, you will have your theme in Cydia. So there you go, guys. That's it. Um, I'm really impressed with Code Themed. I've loved 
this website for a long time. I definitely recommend, guys, go ahead and take a look at it. See if you know, see if you like it. Um, you know, as long as you want to put a little bit of effort into it, it's not all that hard to create your own custom winter board theme. Hopefully, something a little bit better than this. But yeah. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching.